What's up, Capricorns? Falling off my pillow. Hold on. <laughs> this is literally the epitome of my life. Okay. Anyways, so today we're going to do your guys' September love readings. We are, damn, y'all are hyped right now because I was not this hyped. I clicked the button. I'm like, bam, what's up, energy? Anyways, we're going to do a four card spread. It's called Foundation of Four. Yeah, Foundation of Four. It's only between two. Weird. Anyways, so I ask my guides, my galactic guardians, my angels, my archangels, my ancestors, please help me to set my ego aside so that I can give Capricorn their message that isn't in their highest good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sounded like I said isn't, but I meant is. If that, I don't know, maybe, anyway. Oh, goofy, 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 goofy. So the first card is going to be representing you and the energy you are bringing to the situation at hand. I would like to say the situation doesn't necessarily have to be like, oh, I'm with someone right now. It could be you and someone else are in each other's energy. I'm just going to tuck this back there because it's going to do something weird with my lashes. Anyways, you and that other person could just be simply in each other's energy. It doesn't actually mean that you are um, with someone. Okay. Yeah, that's funny. All right. So the first card is going to represent you guys and what you bring to the table right now. Wow. So there's a lot of things that you were raised with. Uh, things that were normal to you as a child. Don't know why my hat's being so... Whatever. Anyways, you guys don't care about this, but I do because I'm a Libra, so we're just going to fix it. And don't even make fun of me. Anyways, you guys had conditioned ways of living based off of the fam family ties and just family, the way that you were brought up with your family. And there are ancestral patterns that you are now being tasked, tasked is the word that they gave me, um, to heal it. And through this healing of these ancestral traumas and these patterns that have just been reverberating through every family, like lineage with you, every line with you. Um, not, I'm not saying the right words, not lineage, not line. What is it? This is awesome. <laughs> so through your children and passed on from your mother and in their in their mothers like there's i don't know why i'm not able to think of that i don't know what's going on um blank slate blank slate okay so like you're creating a blank slate like rewriting your future by doing this basically oh that was their energy okay Wow. All right. So whoever you're like thinking of or the person that you're dealing with, like they are like an oracle. They are someone who is there to speak truth. And they, by speaking their truth, by being a pillar of light in however, however they're doing that, um, be it with friends and family, maybe it's on social media, like maybe it's at work you know, whatever it is in that regard, they're like, by be being a pillar of light in that regard, they're helping your vibration rise, which is really fucking cool. <laughs> like, and if you look at these cards next to each other, it's like, here is all of the behavior patterns and things that you're leaving, right? If you're a dude, I don't, don't think that you're wearing a skirt. No, no shade if you are, you know? And you're like walking towards this, like, which is like where your person is right now. <laughs> so what's the dynamic between Capricorn and their person, please? Wow. A lot of signs are getting this. This is like a... At least both of you are in that energy. <laughs> a lot of the other people have had like their energy will have been light and their persons is really intense, but you guys are both on the same energy wave where it's like, which is a good sign. It's like, <laughs> this card just keeps making me laugh because I'm really like, <laughs> have fun through the darkness, you know, like get naked through the darkness. Nobody can see it's dark, you know, <laughs> but like, it's like, there's one path. And I must follow the path to get to the light. And I think both of you are on that level where it's like, if I can just get through this, if I could just go through this path on this level and this way, 
I will have, um, I will have that, that inner truth I'm seeking. But what I think both of you may be missing is that the inner truth comes with the passage, with, through the darkness, right? Like through this is when you're learning those truths. That's when you're learning who's truly by your side. That's when you're learning your strengths. That's when you're learning if you can survive or not, or if you need someone else's help. Like this is an initiation, right? It's, it's a rite of passage. It's like, uh, quinceañeras, I think is what they're called when the girls turn 15, uh, in the Hispanic culture. And that's a rite of passage, right? Like they, you are being passed into a woman. Is that, that's the, the passage. I was just talking about that. We passed a really beautiful little area and they have having a kinks in out there. And it was really cute. It was, it was beautiful. She's like a giant princess. And anyways, totally off topic. <laughs> We're not totally off topic, but trust us. Yay. <laughs> anyways. So it's like a rite of passage and you're both going through it. And it's very sacred. And there's a, 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 a hint of like, not like fully divine timing because both of you have the ability to speed this. I don't want to say that you have the ability to speed this up because then you'd be a Capricorn and your control issues. Uh, not that they're issues. I mean, I'm a Libra, so I think that they're kind of issues, but whatever, you know, uh, no shade. But it's like uh, a need to be aware that it's divinely guided. So it, there should be... Uh, an inner peace with that because it's like, it's divinely guided. Like I can't really fuck this up. <laughs> like it's for me. Like this is, you know, like when you sign a contract and you're like, okay, I'm going to be in this house for a year. And you know, this is, uh, uh, I'm here. This is mine. I've signed the contract. So you have signed the contract for the things that are coming to you. Okay. On a soul level, they're coming to you on an energetic level and energetically they belong to you. So there's not really anything that you can do for them to elude you. Um, what's the, the insight for the two of them, um, for Capricorn and dealing with their person? Maybe if they've got a cross, cross watcher, what is on my cards? Don't judge me. Okay, guys. <laughs> what is it what's on your card resin <laughs> i'm so sorry guys i don't know how that even got there i don't know anyways i need to clean that what's the insight for capricorn in my person please wow they're your soul tribe you're coming together with your soul tribe um, like it's all coming together. Literally, it says that. like it's all coming together, but it's like divine timing, divine timing, in divine timing. So, like I said, there's something you can do to fuck this up, Capricorn. You could work on self, right? Like, uh, you know, I wouldn't go out and like party and risk creating karma that you're gonna have to deal with right away and all that shit. Because if you're almost coming into union with your human your divine counterpart, you are, um, receiving karma instantly. And I think a lot of, uh, people are realizing that now that their karma is instant. So that sh is showing that the things from past lives, the past karmas from past lives have been healed. And so if you're getting instant karma, like you really need to be aware of that and make choices in that regard because, you know, if you're like, Oh, well, it's all divine timing, you know, string my dick around, don't have to do anything. And then you make karmic choices that are going to come back to you. Well, that divine timing just changed. The timeline changed. And then because our karma, 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 karma is so quick now, uh, the ability to hop on to a different timeline is really, really, really high. So you want to make sure you're, you know, dotting your I's and crossing your T's and minding your P's and Q's and A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I just want to throw some more in there. Okay. We're going to do, um, a bunch of oracle cards now. Yay! Give me a uh, card for Capricorn, please. These are getting uh, third eye upgrades, by the way. They might have you kind of dizzy because I'm like, whoa, no reason to be dizzy right now. Messages for Capricorn, please.
I I saw a specific person's face when I looked at this. There is a need for you to still yourself within. Still, still, steal, still. <laughs> Calm the mind so that you can see what your actual path is. Um, events are going to take their own momentum and you'll take true leaps forward. Like I said, divine timing. Um, there are people around you that are not serving your highest good. You need to counter malicious talk by count by casting its, um, casting it out of your mind, basically. I like the way they wrote that. Listen to your inner wisdom and enjoy the gift of freedom. Okay. Another one about, uh, meditation going within. You need to face life head on with courage and reclaim what it is that you you feel that you've lost. There's something that you feel that you've lost. And part of breaking these ancestral patterns is taking back your pattern. Pattern. Power. I'm thirsty. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, no. That's copy. And that's so not okay. God, that's so not okay. I was at a creamer, so I put chia or chia chai <laughs> i put chai powder in it and it's so gross that it's just been sitting there and if anyone knows me they know that i don't let coffee go sitting so that's that's how bad it is i don't i can't even describe what it tastes like anyways doesn't matter <laughs> doesn't matter at all all right capital please Wow. You need to be wary of forcing change and being cruel in your pursuit for knowledge and definitely be wary of arrogance. Just gonna look at you for a second, Capricorn. Um, there's an art to building things up over time. There's a delicacy to it. You know, and it's a fragile, it's a fragile thing when you're first building it up and something like arrogance could break things down. Um, I want to make it clear that if you think that you've been dreaming about someone that you know, you're actually astral projecting and you're like traveling out of body. Um, you have the ability to see things like you have clairvo clairvoyance. Um, you're able to see things before they happen. And that could feed into your arrogance, but I also need to make you aware that, like I said, we have the ability to timeline hop based off of our decisions and our decisions can change our energy. So if you're making decisions through arrogance and through ego, it has the possibility of taking you off of a timeline you're meant to be on to a lower vibrational timeline. And so there's a need for you to pay attention to when you think you're dreaming. And I think I just told Pisces this, but I, when you're dreaming in a dream state, when you look at like a dresser and you look away, the dresser will turn into something else or it won't be there anymore. When you're astral projecting and you look at a dresser and you look away and you look back, that dresser will still be there. So if you had any question as to if you've been astral projecting or if you're just dreaming, and even if you are, pay attention to your dreams because I'm getting that you're highly intuitive. And what you're seeing is true. And it's only your logical mind telling you that what you're seeing is complete bullshit that's holding you back. All right. <coughs> We're going to do the Miracle Deck. Just named that. My deck, I created it. It's now named the Miracle Deck. Uh, 
Or my guides. <laughs> okay, guys. A few messages for Capricorn, please. A few messages for Capricorn, please. A few messages for Capricorn, please. I try to go like careful with these because they're like really new and then they like they slide out really quickly and then sometimes they just throw me a lot of messages. And it's not that I don't want you guys to have all the messages, but it's just like, damn dude, some of these messages are just, are just intense. You don't need all of them. Or I think you don't need them. All right. Well, first off, meditation comes up. Stop all thought, focus on the breath. This allows for a choice in vibration. In turn, deliberately creating the vibration that is experienced. The art of deliberately creating solitude and a reflection. Okay. So they, they're wanting you to meditate. Self-love never allows feelings of inadequacy. Your soul knows you are whole on your own. So you may be, your ego may be telling you that you're less than someone else. Or that because you don't have someone on your side, you're less than, whatever it is. <sighs> These are heavy. You are not meant to fit in with the crowd. Those who don't do not understand you are not your humans, okay? I actually think a Capricorn said something like this to me, and this is kind of where I channeled this message. So it's really ironic that I pulled this card for Capricorns. So I was really surprised by that. They had said, well, they're, they're not your humans or something like that. And I was like, oh, yeah. So when I was creating these cards, um, this was a message that had come to me as, you know, you're not meant to fit in with the crowd. And I had added that part. So how ironic that um, I'm able to get to give that message back if that Capricorn may be watching. All right. Um, circumstance does not matter when the state of being is in balance. So uh, this goes back to meditation, all right? They're just like doing an infinite loop of the, what they are thinking at this point and saying at this point. Sorry, Cappy, I'm like, got no butt. <laughs> My butt hurts. <laughs> I do lots of squats and stuff. I'll work it on this bony, man. <laughs> it's hard to build weight when you're vegan. Okay. All right, let me see what we got here. Uh, we'll do these ones. Yeah. We're going to do all of them. I'm just, I'm trying to remember what uh, order they were in. They very specific order, so. Any message for Capricorn, please. These are all very high frequency archetypes. Tips. Archetypes. <laughs> message for Capricorn, please. Wow, okay. So there's something that you're not communicating whether it's to self or to another person and it's out of fear and there's a, you really need to get this weight off your chest like you need to speak up and you need to be heard like this needs to happen not for them or for the situation but for you because your throat chakra the more you sit on your truth your throat chakra closes up more and it causes your chakras to not spin and then they get blocked. And then uh, if you don't fix them, things start to materialize with your body. So you have to be really careful with that. All right. Um, and then there are major spiritual changes happening. And like you have a chance to really soar, but you need to face your fear. And Kali Ma is really a good archetype to call on. Kali Ma is a really good archetype to call on for that. Uh, we're going to do these ones. Just the Doreen Virtue Love Oracle. Hmm. I like giggling Capricorn. <laughs> Can you give me messages for Capricorn, please? The giggly and smiley. Are you guys happy? You guys meet somebody? Shall I meet somebody? That's good. Everybody needs somebody. I got my Chiquita banana and Beyond Meat. That impossible burger, let me tell you what. Okay, just that one? Weird, whatever. No, I want more. <laughs> Give me more than that. Capricorn more than that, man. Come on. Capricorn. Messages for Capricorn. Messages for Capricorn in September. Yeah, so you are holding back based out of maybe your own or someone else's like spiritual 
beliefs or religious like beliefs and you're really passionate about this person there's a need for you to like allow yourself to be authentic and and say and do what it is you really feel You guys' energy is really back and forth. A couple of these cards have flown out and then flown back in while I was shuffling. Your energy is really back and forth about something. Like you're really, that's why you need to meditate. Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. Again, circumstance does not matter when the state of being is in balance. You need to meditate, Capricorn. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating new room for opportunities and possibilities in your life, and there's a need to trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform into something new. We do the Rebel Couples Edition. <laughs> wow, those just, those, okay, this, wow, that was crazy. Bear your fucking soul. Trust, share your crazy ass dreams, wishes, and passions. You even got passion there. Where else was trust? Someone else would trust. Yeah, the communication card. Well, okay. Um, and then you're on the same team. Play like it. So, like, bear your soul. And know that you're on the same team. Like, you're competing with this person and there's no reason to. Like, you're competing against your partner. It doesn't make any sense. Like, it should be you two against the world type of thing, right? Like, or if you're not competing against them, like, you feel like you need to compete for them. There's no comp competition necessary. Like, wherever you're feeling like there is a need for competition, there isn't. Okay. And then um, to finish up, what I'm going to do is shuffle and then pull three cards off of the top. And these are the possible signs that you could be dealing with. Aries, Cancer, and Gemini. Cancer and Gemini have been everybody's reading. <laughs> all right capricorn um meditate okay if i can say anything about september it's meditate and everything else is going to come to you because that's what the transformation occurs is within self okay namaste love you